In this video, we have a hot point microwave oven and the door won't pop. Just started doing that, it was working fine this morning and at lunchtime and then all of a sudden, door won't open. So, um, this is a more common problem than what I initially thought. A quick internet search reveals that many different makes and models of microwave ovens have the same issue and it's largely due to a poor unlatching mechanism in order to save money and reduce overall cost. So um, in order to see what's going on and see why this particular model, which is a hot point, is not opening, the first thing that was necessary was to remove the cover. Now that's a little bit more challenging because microwaves use special types of screws to make it hard for people to open them up. And uh, the screws have unusual heads that can only be opened by a certified technician. So there you go, that's what, what it looks like. Hang on, let me just get that in focus for you. So special types of screwdrivers can open it. So the way I did it, is I used a um, grip wrench right here to grip it and then just rotate it open. So on popping the cover, the first thing that you need to do is discharge the capacitor. Let me show you where the capacitor is, and that's important. Right here. And the way that's done is remove the lead, remember where they go, and then use a wire or alligator clips to short out the capacitor and make sure that there's no residual charge on it. Before you even do this, make sure that the microwave oven is unplugged. You can then replace the leads like this once you know that there's no charge. And let's try and look at the mechanism that unlatches the door. That mechanism does a couple of things. It activates a relay switch to allow power to get to the magnetron and at the same time it unlatches the door. So that switch, if it can't be operated, will prevent the microwave oven from turning on. So I'm pressing this button, which I'm doing right now. The first thing I'm noticing is that there's a piece of plastic, cheap looking plastic, that doesn't move right. And it looks like it has to push up that piece of nylon right there in order to open the door. I'll just show you, it's got to push this up it's not able to effectively do that. And it looks like the reason that's happened is one of the hinges of it, the plastic hinges, has broken. As we're going to pop this up by just pushing on it. And let's see that. That should open the door. Here it goes. There we go. So, by pushing on this, you can open the door. Now we're going to take this out to see what is wrong with it why it's not moving in a smooth manner to put force on that. Let's do that right now. Okay, I just popped it out. And here it is. It looks like part of it is broken away. This part here is fine. But that part here is broken right away. It's this little piece here is the reason why the whole microwave won't work. And it's just broken right off of there. So I'm going to see if I can melt these two pieces together. I'm sure I can't glue it, but by melting the plastic, it may actually hold. Let's go ahead and do that. It looks like it fits together right like that. Right like that. There you go. So, I think this may be Bakelite, or some kind of uh, heat-hardened material. Melt the two, uh, two surfaces together, or glue them. So here goes. Here goes, I just stuck it on the stove, on a flame, melted the plastic and just kind of pushed it on like that. So hopefully it'll, once it gets hard and cold, cooled off, it'll be strength, strengthened up. It looks pretty strong. Let's reinsert it into the microwave and see if we can make it work. 